back for the men's 3,000 metres, and what a field this is. 17 starters, eight of these men have run under 7.35. The pace they've requested is 60 seconds per lap, exactly 7 minutes 30 pace. Unusually, 10 different nations represented in this one, although, of course, the East Africans, they're in big numbers. The Kajelcha, the youngster from Ethiopia, who's proved to be such a find for them. The world indoor champion over this distance from last year. Kwemo is in there as well. The world number one winning in Doha at the beginning of the season, the very first Diamond League, and an impressive 7.28. So away they go. The uh, pacemakers are due to be Cornelius Kiplangat and Colin Cheboy, both of Kenya. Kiplangat will take them through one kilometre, we're told, in around 2.30, and Cheboy, if he can make it, to two kilometres in uh, five minutes exactly. And that is not hanging about. Kiplangat straight to the fork. Kijelcha with that rolling style of his and those long, long legs. Leads the Diamond League in uh, the 3,000, 5,000 metre discipline. Does Kijelcha. Somewhat bizarrely, the uh, Ethiopian selectors do have their weird and wonderful ways of making decisions. Kajelcha wasn't picked for Rio last year, despite being very, very consistent for the two or three previous seasons. And they are moving at a very crisp tempo as well down the back straight. They're straight into single file, as you might expect. And they come to 400 metres now, and they go through. Well, it's a little too quick, perhaps, out at the front end, around 58.5. No wonder. They're stretched out. Yeah, I think uh, Quemoy though was about on the on the button. He's the third athlete as they as they line up there. And this this actually is quite a challenge because they're looking at 7:30 pace. And it looks as though they're on that sort of pace at the moment. Very very quick indeed. The big Let's names see what all happens. up there. Quemoy, Indiku, Igida. And as they come through below us, they should be on 90 seconds, and the front end is, and the rest of them probably going through in about 90.5, 91 seconds. So good pacemaking at the moment. But that was, it was 235. 231.1 at uh, 1,000 metres. Almost perfect pacemaking, and the uh, field continues to chase hard as they head out towards the end of this third lap. Quemo in third place with... Kajelcha in fourth, slight gap in front of Kajelcha, also looking strong at the moment is Jonathan Ndiku. I think I said it was uh, the other Ndiku, it wasn't, it's Jonathan Ndiku in fourth place is the Commonwealth Games steeplechase champion from Glasgow. 1,200 metres in 301, they're keeping it very, very crisp indeed up at the front end and if we can expect the normal surges in the last couple of laps, and certainly that last circuit, then we could be looking at another sub-730 performance here as they come into the straight. Kip Langat still at the front, he's gone way beyond the call of duty, Cheboy then second place, then Quemoy, Kajelcha, Igida now moving through, remember he's an Olympic medalist from London at 1,500 metres, has great speed does the Moroccan. Four laps to run, and they go through in 3.33. Yeah, they've slowed just a little bit on that uh, lap, uh, Tim. They lost two or three seconds on that uh, last lap, taking them outside uh, 7.30 pace, but we'd expect it to speed up a little bit uh, a little bit later on. But uh, if they were on a 7.30 schedule, they'd have gone through in 3.30. They were about 3.33. So down the back straight, I think that uh, it looks to me as though they're settling down now. And we'll give you another, another check as they come through the clock. Well, this is uh, four laps gone, and they go through in, what, about 4.04, the pack, 4.05, in fact, the pack. They have slowed a little bit. Somebody needs to start kicking on. And the original pacemaker, Cheboy, Chalangad is gone. Cheboy is at the front from Quemoy. But Quemoy, in supreme form this year, he is the world number one with that big win in Doha a few weeks back. He can kick on very strongly from this one. Kajelcha there in third place, including the pacemaker. Towards the back of the field, in the yellow shorts to left of picture, that is uh, Patrick Tiernan of Australia. And just in front of him is Ben True, who was fourth in the US Championships, having led most of the race. Well, they've just gone through 2,000 metres in 5.06. They have certainly slowed a little bit through that middle section. It's a shame it was being set up so nicely. But we have a big pack together now. It makes it more competitive. Cheptegai from... Kajelcha, Edris in the blue vest in third. And then uh, the pack with Ben True moving up into fifth place. Good aggressive running this from Ben True. On his day, he can match the best of the Africans, can the American. He won the Diamond League 5,000 metres in New York a couple of years back. Looked very impressive on that occasion. Igida in sixth place, the head into the back straight with 
just under two laps to run. Yeah, they have certainly slowed down, Tim, and uh, I would think we're looking at something like around about 7.35, unless there's a real powerful uh, last lap here. But they're about eight seconds off that 7.30 schedule, which... Uh, uh, and they, as you can see, they're bunched up again, which tells you that they have slowed down and there are more in contention at this particular part of the race. And uh, who's got the power, who's got the speed? Is that... Uh, it is, in fact, in the... It's true in the leading position there. Look along with Kajelska. So it's all changed now. It could be anyone's. Kajelka and True with Edris in third place as they come towards the bell this time. And Ben True perfectly positioned for the USA. Up against the very best of East Africa. Quemoy on the outside is nicely positioned too in fourth place. It's Kajelcha, True, Edris, Quemoy, Cheptegai in fifth place. Now Mikal moving up and having a really strong run too. It's Adel Mikal of Spain, European Indoor 3000 metres champion from Belgrade earlier on this year. Kajelcha, 250 metres to run. Driving hard from the front, Edris in second place. True lost for speed at the moment in fourth place as they go into the final bend. And it's Quemoy now on the shoulder of Kajelcha. Quemoy challenging a tall Ethiopian, 120 to run. Gritting his teeth here is Kajelcha, a little glance to his right. And Edris now kicks again on the outside for Ethiopia. Has he got the legs to get past? Quemoy, the Ethiopian, the Kenyan. Yes, he has. Brilliant judgment from Edris there to take it. 732.32. The unofficial winning time just outleans uh, Kajelcha there down the home straight. And uh, they're very, very quick. Final kilometre there from those men. We'll work those splits out for you, but 5.06 at uh, 2,000 means the last kilometre, and around 2.26, the place times, well, they're impressive. Let's just double-check. 7.32 is confirmed as a personal best for Mukhtar Edris. And, uh, at 23, I feel like he's been around a long time, Edris. He was seventh in the world champion at 5,000 four years ago in Moscow. And he was just 19 years old. But a good form, a showing real strength at Hengelo for that 27, 25,000. He was third in Doha in 740. He's obviously sharpened up a fair bit since then. Yeah, the mid part of the race was uh, where it slowed down and they were well off uh, schedule. But that last lap, very, very quick indeed. Uh, bringing them back uh, from what was uh, looking like a 7.35 to a 7.32. So, and a great, great finish by Edris. He really powered plus Quemoy. Quemoy had the pedigree of the 7.28 best this uh, season. And, but Edris really looked strong in the final stages. And Kajelska, well, he really attacked with 200 metres to go, but just but hadn't quite got that uh, strength endurance down the home straight to hold off Edris and Quemoy. It was a good race at the end. It was indeed, yeah. Look at the gritted teeth there from Edris. Known that feeling many times, but the legs slow down. His legs got quicker and quicker. Brilliant run there from Edris to win quite decisively. And had the speed when it mattered most. And that is a new personal best for uh, Mukhtar Edris. Plenty of them too there in the top eight. Quemoy, Kajelcha, Cheptegai, Mikal. True, a personal best, 7.35. Good running from Tien and to the Australian in seventh place.